Hey everyone, this is Dr. T, prophetic minister and apostolic director of, you know, God-given, granted Galatians 1, 1 and 2, Cross Body Unity leader, founder. Why do we say all that? Not to impress, not important, but declare, because there's so many ways people are hearing things and they read things into titles and all this submission doctrine that goes on in certain quarters. We are here in Ephesians 5:21 form. That's our movement form because uh, it was Pauline, it was First Church, and it is mutual submission in the fear of the Lord. So I am for all the submission persons that are big, big into it than they should be and ought to be. Um, I am submitted in Ephesians 5:21 in every direction to all my peers, to all ministers, to all leaders, all persons, as a servant leader, mutual submission in the fear of the Lord. That makes a difference. And so we're talking to the body of Christ, and I'm going to say, why am I this tough? Why am I this tough on certain kinds of dysfunction out in the field that where I, is my realm? Not to be up in the famous celebrity circus, not to be against anybody, but pro all. People can't help what people do with their ministry. That's what I think of really the um, amazing television ministers, local area pastors that are elevated. I really feel all black and white that they don't, you know, they could help <laughs> what goes on with people when they take their ministry. They want to model them. Maybe their mama raised them wrong. Maybe their daddy never, you know, stood up for them so they have an issue about things or females. So we're not trying to come against anybody. We're just trying to really stir up the grassroots. Let me say why I think like this. Well, I'm out here with him, and I can see the difference in so many nice people, nicer people that are not mixed up in this charismatic mixture really is. The people are just nice, really, all over. They're going to be pockets of plenty. They're going to be pockets of poverty. They're going to be pockets of mean and horrible. we got to pray everybody where you live for your pocket to be safe in Psalm 91, secret place for everybody. I meant it's for our country. I'm saying it for our country. So why am I talking so tough right now? Not to name them, but to the fruit at the grassroots, really lower uh, visibility or out at the front roads where they go to the store and they meet the people. That's the issue. Where you meet the people is so important more than ever. You can live up in the mountains. You can live in the valley. You can live in the hills and the countryside because people are buying the property. They're very well off. And you got to be the great representative to treat them with respect and not be distant or, you know, easily spooked or quoting the Bible and not even loving them, respect them because they're a different skin color, a different nation, a different vibe, a different left coast state or an east coast state, not always red state. You got to know that these are human people. Everybody's human and we want to respect the human. Respect. This is the bottom line. This is not a long one. Bottom line, it's equal opportunity, real respect for the office of every human made in God's image. Act that Treat them as leaders, as peers, young or old, until proven otherwise. But let me say this, if you don't agree with their politics, if you don't agree with their lifestyle, if you don't agree with a lot of stuff, their beliefs, they don't, you don't have to condone them or endorse them to respect them. You respect them because Jesus loves them. And they don't have to condone you or me or endorse me, but we can get along and have society and have great times. God bless you. He loves you. This is Tavo D'Arcy signing off for now.